Alright you guys, so we are here to do a quick tour of the nursery. Um, this is a shared nursery. My daughter, who is three, and soon to be baby boy, will be sharing this room. Now the reason they're sharing a room is because on my top floor here, um, we only have two out of the three bedrooms in our house on this floor. We do have one more bedroom, but that one is all the way in the basement, and which is one, two, three floors technically away from away from my husband and I's bedroom. And I'm just not comfortable enough yet to put my three-year-old all the way in the basement. It makes me really uncomfy thinking that she has she's closer to the front door than I am. Might just be uh, being a little bit of a crazy mom there, but um, for now they will be sharing a nursery. Now, now the nursery or the shared room it's not a hundred percent complete i feel like it never will be a hundred percent complete just because i'm really picky um but there are a couple of things and i'll show you guys as i go through um that are missing or need to be fixed but anyway all right let's roll into finally the reveal of the bedroom Alright you guys, so as you can see, it's a 110% Pinterest perfect, but what I did want to point out is A, um, this handle we need um, to replace, <laughs> so that is coming in the mail very soon. This is my three-year-old Kaya, and this is her bed. So, so this is an industrial frame style bed, and then we just have like sides up so that she doesn't fall out. Eventually the, these will come off. And then this is kind of Kaya's toy corner. Now, I haven't perfected this, and I need to find better baskets. In fact, over here, so Mike is doing, um, he's actually hiding this um, wire that's hanging out right here. He is going to be um, installing an Mama. entertainment wall Mama. kit. And then we do have one, two, three, four baskets on order. The rest of these books will go up here. There will be four baskets here. And that's kind of where the rest of these toys are going to go. So over here, I kind of have like a Mod Podge of her toys right now. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to take her stuffed animals and um, have them just be in these larger bins here. And these are from Target. The toy houses and like the little woodsy stuff, I'm hoping to put in those baskets that will go here. So over here I kind of have like a little miscellaneous area. Um, there's like a couple bins. So this is where Kaya's like dress up um, clothes are. And then underneath what I have is just like a Mod Podge of Barbies, little woodsies, um, trolls stuff, 
and just like action figures and animals. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to separate those out into baskets over here. That way she can access um, certain toys and they're organized for her and they're easy for her to find. Um, this is a growth ruler that we got before Kaya was born. So both of our children will be on here and any other future babies we have. Okay, so this rug, I get questions on this rug all the time. This rug is from RugsUSA.com. I get all of my rugs from RugsUSA and I believe all the brand of rug that I order is the New Loom. I will try and link everything down below for you guys if I'm able to find it. I know for a fact that these baskets are no longer at Target because I tried to find some more and I couldn't. But I know that this rug is still at Rugs USA. As I'm doing this tour, my daughter is like destroying it, so just bear with me. But um, this bed frame is from Wayfair. This dresser was actually an antique find and I painted it myself with milk paint and distressed it so that it was nice and chippy. Um, but this was kind of the color scheme of the nursery when I had Kaya. And then it just kind of evolved into more like cactuses and floral. I knew that the kids were going to be sharing this nursery, quote unquote nursery. I wanted it to be more gender neutral. So I just kept the florals more so on her blanket. And I had this made, this blanket I had made locally. This one and um, baby boy's blanket were both made by the same gal. And I will have her shop linked down below. I believe she has an Etsy. Um, but yeah, she's she's from North Dakota, so I guess she's not local, but she's about four hours away from where I am. Love all of her stuff. Um, sorry guys, I'm really breathy. Look at me. I'm 39 weeks pregnant, and um, I think my water just broke, but <laughs> we'll get into that in my bump date. So uh, Kaya's bed is less <laughs> Pinterest worthy right now, but that's because Kaya really loves her um, pillow pets right now. These are actually hand-me-downs from my sisters. Um, I've got younger sisters and she adores these pillow pets. And then she has her little unicorn over here and her puppy. And the sheet and the throw pillow are both from Target. Again, the frame is from Wayfair. And then this like, green quilt that I have underneath her um, underneath her blankie. This um, is from Home Goods. Right next to Kaya's side of the bed we have the diaper pail. Um, I don't necessarily like it here but it is the best place for it because as you see um, on top of the dresser here I have um, a diaper changing pad from Pottery Barn and then I have um, a basket full of newborn diapers, as well as Kaya's pull-ups that she wears at night still. And then I just have um, our favorite wipes right here. The signs that I have here on the wall, um, all the signs are from Hobby Lobby. I made this, and I got this from Target. Again, it's been a while. I got this whole setup when Kaya was born. That was almost three and a half years ago, probably four years ago when I got these signs. So I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby still has them, but I will look. Um, this piece from Target is a little bit newer. I think it, I got it a year or two ago. Um, but again, it'll be linked down below if I can find it for you. Moving on to Baby Boy's bed. I love his bed, you guys. It turned out so cute. I Right now, I just kind of have his Moses basket laid inside of here with some blankies. Um, this is something that we're gonna be taking out and putting, and likely putting downstairs in our living room. This here is the newborn Boppy lounger and a cover that I just got for it on Amazon. I'll link our, um, I'll link our haul um, up here in the corner for you guys. And this is a quilt that a dear friend's mom made for us. She's so sweet. Um, and then we just have a couple of toys that we have accumulated. So a matching, this is a dragon and it matches Kai's unicorn. Okay, so I took the Moses basket out so I could show you guys. Look how cute his blanket is. Again, I'll have the ladies shop linked down below. This is a very nice material too. This is like a like a velvety material and then on the back it's like a really soft minky. So it's just the softest blankie. Of course we won't have it in here if he's sleeping um, 
as a newborn, but but we typically don't have our babies um, sleep in their beds until they hit closer to six to nine months. But I am very much so in love with this crib. The details on it are just incredible. Um, this is not an old crib. <laughs> this is a brand new crib again from Wayfair um, and I'll have it linked down below. But this detail work and this like brushed bronze is just so beautiful. The mobile that I have above Baby Boy's crib is actually something that I made. Everything I found at Hobby Lobby and I made it before Kaya was born. Um, this was the same mobile that Kaya had above her bed and it's just, it's really light and it moves around really easily and it was really simple to make. I'm not really into like giant mobiles but this was just super cute and simple and woodsy feeling. Now probably my least favorite part of the room um, are these curtains that are behind baby boy's bed. The reason why I don't like them is just because they're a little dark and heavy for this room. Unfortunately, they have to be big and dark and heavy because um, we need them to be blackout curtains for Kaya when she's napping in here. Um, or even if the sun hasn't set yet for the day during the summertime. These are lifesavers to get her to go to sleep. So even though they aren't the cutest curtains, um, they are blackout and they're really nice for getting getting the kids to sleep on time. Now the reason why the kids have a TV in their bedroom, um, I get a lot of questions about this just from friends and family, is because this is also their playroom or will be their playroom. Um, I like to keep most of their toys up here. So that is why they have a TV up in their room is so that they can play and listen to um, YouTube kids or like lullabies. It's just really nice to be able to toss on or even um, Blue Planet or Planet Earth. Kaya really likes those shows and it sometimes is nice for putting them to sleep because you can have lullabies or like I said Blue Planet or Planet Earth playing in the background. It's super calming. You can set a timer for it. Highly recommend it, but I know that some parents are against um, TVs in the room, but this would be our quote unquote sound machine while the kids sleep. <laughs> um, now the shelf, I typically make these shelves myself, but now that I am so pregnant, I just didn't have the time or energy to take care of it before baby boy got here. This was the last piece that I was waiting for um, before I did the nursery reveal for you guys. The shelves are real wood and the pipes are real metal. It's not plastic. It's a really, really good quality. I highly recommend it. I'll have it linked down below. I got it off of Wayfair. Um, I've really been enjoying Wayfair lately, but yes, very good quality. Highly recommend it. All right, now getting into the closet situation. This is the part that is not perfect yet. Um, right now, we still just have this one shelf with like my breast pump and some like miscellaneous keepsake stuff on top. But um, all of the pink hangers are Kaya's. And then all of these cute blue ones back here and gray ones are for baby boy. Now, um, these will be separated out. We just have not had time. I even have like back here in the corner actually, I have um, more curtain rods, but um, this shelf will be moved up and then Kaya's clothes will go on there. All right, and down here, um, you can kind of see peeping in the corner there. That is Kaya's overnight bag that we've been prepping for while we're in the hospital. But, um, this is essentially where all of Kaya's like foldable clothes go. Um, and up here we've got diapers from the baby shower, um, and then all of their wipes and then diaper pail refills. We'll have a rod going above right here so that baby boy's clothes um, hang just above this cubby system. But all of Kaya's panties, her socks, all of her um, leggings and jeans, her jammies, her swimsuits, her tutus, um, everything that would typically be folded and put in the drawer, I have put in here and this has been working out really nicely for us. And then in these drawers we do have, in these drawers we do have all of baby boy's things. So, so we thought it made the most sense to put his stuff inside of the dresser just because this is typically after the bath. This is where he, this is where he will go. This is where he will be changed and dressed. So all of his stuff is in the dresser underneath so that it's easy to grab. Kaya wrote on this dresser and I don't know how to get it off. Um, and then, yeah, and this is just all of his bibs. 
these need to be gone through and cleaned one more time. Um, in fact, I think the middle drawer, I haven't cleaned any of the clothes yet. So, but yeah, and then this is his hats. Then I just have all of his middies in here. Um, his belly stickers. And like a couple like random things like PBTB. And I think this is like a passy holder. Um, and then in this drawer, I have all of his socks and shoes. And I guess one of Kaya's socks. <laughs> and in the middle drawer, like I was telling you guys, I still need to wash all the clothes in this middle drawer. But this is where his like foldable onesies go. We don't hang up the onesies. We've got just plain onesies. These are hand-me-downs that he likely will not be wearing um, and I need to donate. But over here are all of his cute onesies that he has gotten so far and I need to wash them and fold them and organize them into, um, into sizing. And then on the very right hand side are all of his pants. Um, which again, I need to wash all of these pants. So that's why this isn't organized yet. It's not quite a perfect nursery tour, but this is real mom life, you guys. This is how it goes when you're on baby number two and you just don't quite have all the time in the world to get everything um, cleaned and folded right before our baby comes. And then the bottom is honestly just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. We've got photo props, um, receiving blankets, more passy holders, toys, a play mat, just things that he um, maybe won't use right away, but things I wanted to keep organized and kept together. All right, you guys. Well, that is the nursery tour for the kids. It's not perfect. This is real life. This is real mom life for baby number two. Um, I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. I um, just have a couple more things coming in. And I'll probably like tweak and perfect it um, even more so like as I go. Um, but I will of course keep you guys updated as I add last minute stuff in here. Um, oh yes, and that's another thing. So I can't decide what I'm doing with the walls in here yet. They are all gray, but I think I'm gonna be shiplapping at least one of the walls, if not three of them, and then wallpapering one. Um, I go back and forth. I kind of want to do like a cactus wallpaper and then white shiplap the rest of the walls. But if I do decide to do that, I will of course make a video on it and let you guys know what I'm doing. Um, usually I like to wait for like the big final reveal um, to do a tour, but I know that a lot of you guys were antsy to see what this room is looking like. And yes, we do mostly have it put together so that if baby boy makes his appearance any day, uh, we are ready to go. So. Um, which, um, speaking of, I need to hurry and record my 38 and 39 bump date. With that, I am going to leave you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in to the nursery reveal. I hope you guys love the final product and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and stick around for that birth vlog and all of the newborn things that are to come in the very near future. I am so excited. I can't believe that I'm going to be a mom of a little boy and a little girl. I'm a little intimidated to be a boy mom, but I'm sure I will figure it out and it will be just fine. <laughs> Thanks guys. I will see you sometime in the very near future as in Tuesday. Okay. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see you guys. Okay. Bye. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.